What's going on, all my junk haulers, hustlers, entrepreneurs out there, and everyone that's working a nine to five to make a living? What's going on? Right now, I'm on my way to my uh, buddy's house. Uh, he's got a Chevy, I want to say it's a Suburban, old school Suburban. So what he's requesting is uh, help on getting the Suburban door back on. So we're gonna swing by, take a look, see if we can help him get this pin back in the door so he can get the door reattached. It's not really a junk removal request, but it's, uh, it's a request for help. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, so okay, I'm here so with we Alistair. Got we got the spring in. We got the spring in. So the spring in now, just let me know when to, uh, oh, like I'm gonna try to raise okay. the door and let me know if that pin can move. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me... I see clues. Oh, yeah, you see it's hitting this. All right, try put, pulling it up, the door. All right. Let's see what that. Pull it slowly. Okay, I got it to that first hole. Okay, now it looks like it's going to be blocking it, so let's try and push this up real quick. Hold on. Push the door up. Push the door up, put it up one more time. Yeah, it looks like it's the same. Okay, so let's try and... I wonder if this is because this is not lubricated. What, the spring? This little uh, oh, piece the, uh, right the, here. The, what, the pin? Yeah, this little sliding uh, mechanism piece. Uh, yeah, let me check real quick. Let me make sure. Uh, all right, so let's see. Spring, pin, this thing here. Let's see, does it slide? Oh yeah, it does move. Yeah, when the door turns, it turns. It does turn. Yeah. Yep. I'm wondering. So could have that seized up and caused everything else to. You think so? Then I would have to disorder. Potentially. If this thing right there. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, if anything, kind of get it closer, then see if you can yeah, use the so flathead and yeah, try to shimmy might. it. That might be the best way. Let me see what I can get. It's I don't that, know if it's just not lubricated. Yeah, or it's that it's turning just... thing. It's supposed to turn smoothly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's probably what happened. I figure I'm gonna have to end up replacing that at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Um, what What's is that other that? stuff? That's, the, uh, stri that's not the. It's the this, pin. This it's... is the striker. That's the pin, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the pin. I would say just try. Uh, what is that other stuff? Put people blaster on there and just let that sit and See coat. See that sits and coats it. Yeah. Instead of keep trying to. Yeah. Put that. Yeah. yeah. I guess that'll hold for now. Yeah, she's definitely on there. And the door is shutting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She's good. Yeah, man. Um, did the spider ignition and you know system, uh, you know, spider ignition, the wires, spark plugs, all that that freaky shit. Got that shit taken care of. This is what was uh, leaking. And then I put the new, uh, it fit on there, the uh, bypass cap. Gotcha. Um, all right, so I did that. Um, and we, of course, we did brake lines back in the day. 
did all of that, so I got that exhausted. And I need to take care of that, and then, um, because I gotta get this thing to tow the uh, Regal down to Steve's shop down in uh, Virginia, so we can get this, uh, so I can get that thing back on the road and yeah. get back out there and do what it's supposed to do to, you uh, know, run at everybody else. My yeah. Shit, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, because I did this thing. You know, this is the second motor I had to put. Because uh, when I first bought it, mm -hmm. I was telling Donovan we had the Monte Carlo. We were going uh, come back up a hill. Boom! Big hole in the oil, oil pan. So I got another Jeez. engine, and you know, Steve went and put new valve covers, intake gaskets. Yeah, you know, that new radiator, uh, new AC compressor, put new AC compressor lines, all that. And uh, you know, so I could, you know, I figured this truck will last me for a while. Yeah. But. Shucks, yeah, that's not that's not that's not bad. Brand new engine, and it, all it needs now is just exhaust work. Yeah, the exhaust work. Like I said, the other day I told my father's uh, little uh, S10 would fit uh, to his uh, guy to work because he needed a fuel pump. Yeah, the S10s, uh, the late mo those early model S10s with the you, know, you got to lift the best off the frame or drop the tank. Ah, uh, right. what's up, bro? What's going on? Hey. Yeah. It's a good old classic. Yeah, man. Starts and runs. Mm -hmm. First try. Yeah. Tell me, you know, does it get any better than that? All right. We got that. We got, uh, oh, that's the old EGR. You know, funny, this is what they use to make the, uh, you can put another battery right here. Oh, really? This is what they use uh, for the 6 by 6s Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So you can run two, you know, like the diesel, the two batteries, if need be. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ugh. Good old silver. Uh, well, no, suburban. It's suburban, the suburban. Uh, suburban silver auto. Yeah, yeah. They all the K C. What is it? The K fifteen hundred body style. K fifteen hundred. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Just the the twenty five hundreds there. That the four fifty four or the six by six. Gotcha. Uh, the four fifty four engine, but the other ones, the fifteen hundreds had the the three fifty. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Last, this is a beat. This was the last year this, then they went to the LS's. Ah, yeah. okay. LS's came out right after that. And LS's had their little 20 year run, and now you got your LT's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> COVID, man. So, this was on the old filter adapter housing. <clears throat> what? Things are not the same Look. As they were a year ago. Oh, wow. And then it leaked all the oil into the ground. Had it running. It did not gauge. Started reading not. Sitting at idle. I'm like, what the hell? Why is it reading not at idle? And then I came out. I'm like, no way. No way. Big dumbass puddle. I mean, I didn't rev it. I just shut the shit off. It might have, might have just started bearing it too, but... Steve would go through there. Probably just need a little bottom end stuff. Yeah. And, uh, it'll be alright. I mean, because everything else is here. It's ready to go. Uh, TI 60 turbo, 3 inch down pipe, 60 pound injectors, 2 or 4 spots in the can. Methanol injection. Here's the pump. Well, here's the filter. It pumps down there. The lines running its sprays right there in the manifold. And. Hey, man. It's ready to go. It's ready. It was literally ready to rock. And that should have happened. Okay. This is gonna be nasty. When she comes up. Let's go off. This is definitely gonna be the next sleeper. We were able to knock out the job. We got that door. This was a pin and also a um, spring. So we were able to get it back in place. It looks like the door just needs to have some lubrication so that way the mechanism can work fine. Seems like without the lubrication, it seized up, popped the spring off, and then the pin dropped, and you know, the door dropped too. But we were able to get everything to match up, and we lubricated with WD 40. Gonna try uh, something else to uh, as the lubrication for next time. See if that actually helps the situation, kind of prevent it from happening again. Yeah, that was something different for the channel. This is stuff that I I do often. Uh, you know, whatever friends or family members have, you know, 
emergency situation, so I uh, yeah. try my best to help him out. Right now, I'm heading home. I'll keep you guys updated, you know, on any other special requests that we run into as we go. So, uh, without further ado, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, you know, definitely don't forget to drop a comment and, you know, let me know. You know, what do you do on your spare time? You know, how do you help others out? You know, how do you help your friends? How do you help your family members? You know, what do you love to do? So, chit-chat with you guys later. Peace.